Hello everyone and welcome to our video. Today we're reviewing American Airlines business class on the Boeing 777-300ER from New York to London. Please be aware that this video was taken in October of 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic and that your experience may vary from ours. We start today's trip from New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport, Terminal 8. American has a flagship lounge at JFK, but sadly because of the pandemic, the lounge is currently closed and we were directed to the Admirals Club section of the lounge instead. The Admirals Club offers plenty of comfortable seating throughout, and some seats were blocked to allow for physical distancing. There's a full bar, hot beverage station, and a self-serve buffet of prepackaged snacks and fruits. You can also order some hot soups from the bartender. One hour before departure, we made our way to the gate. First in business class passengers and those with one world elite status get priority boarding, so we were able to board shortly after boarding was called. American's Boeing 777-300ER features 52 flat bed seats in business class. The seats are arranged in a one-to-one -one reverse herringbone configuration. Travelers wanting to sit together can opt for the center seats, while those who want more privacy should probably choose one of the window seats. I was seated in 4J in the mini business class cabin. The flight was quite empty with only 10 seats taken in business class. Oddly enough, first class was full. The Safran Sierra seat offers plenty of shoulder, leg room, and storage space to keep you comfortable on this six and a half hour flight to London. The storage spaces, seat and IFE controls, power outlets and tray table are all conveniently placed for easy access while seated. I'm also happy to note that American has personal air nozzles under triple sevens. At my seat was a full-size pillow and duvet set, along with a business class amenity kit, noise-canceling headphones by Bang & Olufsen, and the business class menu. A bottled water and sanitizing wipes were also handed out by the crew. After settling in, our flight attendant came by to greet us and take our meal orders. Unfortunately, because of the situation with COVID-19, no pre-departure beverages were offered. We were also reminded by the crew to keep our facial covering on over our nose and mouth for the entire flight except when we're actively eating or drinking. The IFE remote pops out of the control panel, and a 15.6-inch touchscreen IFE monitor swings out of the side panel with a press of a button. American uses the Panasonic Avionics Entertainment System. The interface is fairly intuitive, and it's easy to browse through the wide selection of movies, TV programs, music and audio programming, and games. It even has my favorite Voyager 3D moving map. Soon boarding was complete and the crew started their preparations for departure. We then pushed back from the gate as the safety video played.
We had a 10 minute taxi to the end of the runway and we soon took off for London. Wi-Fi internet service was available on this flight and cost 20 US dollars for the entire flight. After we reached cruising altitude, the captain switched off the seatbelt sign and the beverage service started. I ordered a glass of champagne which was served in a plastic cup. The warm nuts has been replaced by a bag of pistachios. Another flight attendant was kind enough to offer me a drink refill and ask if I was ready for my meal. To minimize crew and passenger interaction, the entire meal was covered and served on a single tray. The appetizer was sun-dried tomato tartare salad. It tasted fresh and light. For the main, I pre-ordered a peppercorn seared beef. The beef was cooked to a perfect medium. It was tender and also well seasoned. Meanwhile, my companion had the bourbon glazed salmon, which was nice and flaky. Dessert was a slice of New York cheesecake, which was a sweet end to the meal. The crew also offered us an after-dinner beverage and a cookie. After the meal service, I visited the lavatory to freshen up. The lavatory behind 4J is the largest in the plane, and it was relatively clean, but missing was the usual C.O. Bigelow toiletries. I was already feeling sleepy at this point so I reclined my seat and made my bed. I slept for about 3 hours and woke up with 2 hours left in the flight. I checked out the self-serve snack bar and picked up a few packaged snacks. Ninety minutes before landing, a flight attendant came by to offer me the pre-arrival meal. Like the previous service, the entire meal was covered and served on a single tray. The main was a fresh fruit bowl served with granola, yogurt, and a warm croissant. I also ordered a glass of orange juice. The fruits tasted nice, fresh, and a light way to end the flight. 
Half an hour prior to landing, the captain switched on the seatbelt sign and announced our descent into London. Our flight attendant shortly came by and thanked us for our business. We had a relatively smooth landing in London. We taxied for another 10 minutes to Heathrow's Terminal 5 and we shortly disembarked. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, American Airlines and your JFK International flight crew welcome you to London Heathrow Airport with a local time at 7.30. You must remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until we reach the terminal area and the fastened seatbelt sign has been turned on. Also, please keep the always clear of your carry-on baggage. Careful when opening the overhead bin as every article is inside we have shipped during flight. If you have your mobile phone in your hand, you can use it at this time. On behalf of the crew, I'd like to thank you for having chosen American Airlines for your flight this evening. We hope to see you on another American Airlines flight in the near future. Have a nice day here in London or wherever your final destination may be. Good day. I thought this was a great six hour transatlantic flight on American. Even with the changes in service, American's business class seat was still very comfortable for lounging and sleeping. The onboard amenities were fine, and the catering was surprisingly very good on this flight. The crew working business class were friendly and proactive in refilling our drinks throughout the flight. Our lounge experience at the Admirals Club in JFK was good, but I really missed the hot food offerings at the flagship lounge next door. What about you? What are your thoughts on this flight? Please post your comments below, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more trip reports. Thanks for watching and stay safe.